Good morning, everyone. Hello, it's Friday. It is the 31st of January, 2020, a day that will go down in history or possibly infamy. But whatever, I've got two great blog posts for you, so it's definitely time for this. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, welcome to Friday. Goodness me, what a busy week that was. Yes, it's uh, really, really busy for me. I burnt through my to-do list, but I'll tell you more about that later. If you're on Facebook, remember I go live at 9 a.m. So if you're watching this live, then you could comment and I could give you a shout out on the show. So like me, love me, ha 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 me. You can definitely wow me. No sadness or anger because it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday and everybody loves a Friday, don't you? Yes. Even the Daleks. Even the Daleks love Friday. Yes, and if you're on YouTube watching on replay, hit the subscribe button, please, and then click that jingly jangly bell for different ways to keep in touch with me. Yes, hello. Welcome, welcome to episode 18 of the SLO show, which is the last one for the week. Oh, busy, busy, busy week. And the first thing people are going to say to me is, if I push the right button, what day is it? What day is it indeed? Well, I'll tell you what day it is. A day of infamy, a day of history. It is, in fact, Brexit Day. Yes, it is. Whether you like it or not, it's Brexit Day. Um, we are officially, the United Kingdom is officially leaving the European Union at 11 p.m. GMT tonight. Yes. So um, for all those who are very happy about that, please be uh, magnanimous about it. Don't be a sore winner. Yeah, you know. And for those who, who lost, who wanted to remain, well, you know, keep on campaigning. You never know what will happen in 25 years. You never know. I think it's probably going to be a generational thing, definitely. I, don't, I can't see us rejoining... <clears throat> especially in my lifetime but it, it may happen it may happen you never know yeah i mean the eu might change and everybody might go actually that's a really good idea yeah and so it's simple as that so if you're celebrating tonight that's great don't rub it in people's faces if they're not happy if you're commiserating tonight raise a glass of wine to the european project you never know yeah i might get back in there at some point in the future but whatever happens it is an exciting time yeah we get to sort of find our own way now yeah definitely and the nice thing is that the politicians like mr gove said yesterday michael gove said um can't blame europe anymore you can't you can't blame europe it's all down to the uk politicians making uk decisions about the uk and um you know if it all goes pear-shaped they've only got themselves to blame yes very much so so today is brexit day 11 p.m Will I be raising a glass of wine or not? I'm not going to say. I think it's pretty obvious what my views are, but I really don't want to rub it in people's faces. Simple as that, really. Or I really don't want to cry into my coffee. Yeah. So, whichever way you voted, it's happened. Nothing really changes for a year, not until the end of this year. So, um, just get on with it, you know? Reconcile it. It's time for us to come together. It's definitely time for us to come together. Yes. Okay. So... First blog post for today. Oh, I bet I need to push that button, don't I? Blog post! It's blog post time. Yeah, it's blog post time. <sighs> right, first blog post, which you can see on screen right now, is from the lovely, lovely, lovely Marlon and Richard and Carly and Mark and Nick, because they make up the team at Potsbury House Restaurant. I love Potsbury House Restaurant. It is my favourite restaurant in the world. In fact, I'm going to go up there later and have a coffee and a catch up with them because I haven't seen them for a couple of weeks because I didn't go to the last uh, Toast to Lunch which they host at Botsbury House Restaurant for end Toast to Lunch because I was meeting Ellen at the time so uh, I couldn't go so I haven't been up there in ages but I'm definitely going today uh, and oh Mark's been Mark the chef head chef very talented guy has been making some amazing cupcakes which I'm really tempted to have one yes but this blog post is about a Valentine's Day at the Potter's Free House restaurant. Yes. Valentine's Day is only a couple of weeks ago. I am self-partnered. I may take myself. You never know. Yes. Um, anyway, it's an amazing, amazing menu. Mark's worked really hard on it. I have sampled it. I'm just oh, that's lovely. Um, my favourite out of the starters is the Portobello mushroom. Stuffed with cream cheese and garlic. 
Oh, that's delicious, that really is. And then for the main course, uh, I think I probably have saute chicken. Yeah, I like fillet steak, I do. Uh, but saute chicken with shrimp, mmm, yes. And then a warm chocolate brownie. Oh yeah, now look at that, how amazing is that? And it's actually £39.95 uh, p per person. Yes, it's actually £10 cheaper than last year because uh, they've just made the menu more brilliant. Yes, definitely. Um, so you want to book your table soon because they are filling up and they're actually open with this menu on Friday the 14th and Saturday the 15th because of demand last year. It was so oversubscribed and people really disappointed they couldn't book. So now's probably the time to get sorted. If you want to go and take your partner to the Pottsbury House restaurant for Valentine's Day or on the Saturday if, if work uh, gets in the way on Friday, then book it. Book it now. Yes, book it now. Blog.pottsburyhouse.co.uk. Go and check that out. Find out more about their menu. And then if you phone the number, they'll book a reservation for you. Yes. Oh, you can also click here and make an inquiry. See where my mouse is? Yes. Click there. Just click there and have a Facebook chat with them. Yes, very much so. Blog.pottsburyhouse.co.uk. It's an amazing menu. It's an amazing menu. It's an amazing team who run it. You will have a great time, you will. So don't forget to book your table for Valentine's Day, yeah. Last blog post for the week, for the entire week, yes. Last blog post for the entire week. I'll push the correct button here. And it's from the Black Sheep Collective, www.blacksheepcollective.co.uk. They don't off do some amazing stuff at the Black Sheep Collective, all centered around Bar Bar Black Sheep uh, on the square in Wolverton behind the Agora. An antidote to the sweetness of Valentine's Day. Ooh, look at that. So we've had one about Valentine's Day and one we've got one about anti-Valentine's Day. Well, on Saturday the 15th, if you're not booking a table at the Pottsbury House restaurant, go along to Barbar Back Sheep. They have Milton Screams presents Love Bites, an antidote to the sweetness of Valentine's Day. They're actually screaming uh, a, a cult classic. Uh, a sleepy English village is invaded by the cast and crew of a new horror zombie movie. Ooh. But the horror turns real when someone or something, ooh, ooh, something, something. Yeah. starts tearing everyone to shreds. Yes, it's a good film. Uh, it's called, what is it called that? It's called The Snarling. The Snarling. The snarling. snarling. The Snarling. Yes, it's on Saturday the 15th. Is it the 15th? Yes, Saturday the 15th at Bar Bar Black Sheep, 7 to 11 p.m. It's just £5 entry. So go along to that. Check out www.blacksheepcollective.co.uk. Click on the, uh, the blog item for this and then the snarling the snarling the snarling the, the darling yes and have a look brilliant love it <laughs> i might go actually i might self-partner myself to the pottsbury house restaurant on friday the 14th and then and then i might go to the snarling on saturday you never know you never know no <gasps> what's in my diary what's on what is on well, there's loads of stuff it's friday um what am i doing today well i'm finishing off i've i've got oh actually i've got nothing on my to-do list i i burnt through it i did i did so much stuff this week um the thing is when i'm when i'm programming when i'm coding i just the, that's it the the universe is my brain my eyes my hands fingers and the keyboard and the screen that's it that's my universe and i just get on with it and i just code and code and code until it's done um just working on my platform so i did loads of little fixes uh fixed a load of little annoying things um and then i added a few little features that uh some of my clients had requested uh, and then i did a few things i wanted as well which is all to do around the sharer so when i'm sharing out client stuff i can see when it was last shared when something was last shared um and how many people have clicked on it yeah uh, I, I had that on a couple of things, but I wanted to make sure it is expanded a bit further to other things. So all blog posts, all images, all messages, everything. Now tell me when it was last shared. I think it's a really cool thing. Or it says never otherwise. Um, the only thing I've got to do now is when I'm working remotely. So if I'm, if I'm blogging into somebody's WordPress website, for example, um, that's not tracking because how would it? Um, 
so I'm actually I need to think about whether I want to do tracking on the WordPress website I need to figure that out I think I know how to do it so that's basically been my week I've been catching up on things for clients and then I did all these bug fixes and everything and I finally got to the end of that got one more thing to do and then next week I can actually get on with finishing off my contact manager which is 95% finished it just needs a few tweaks and changes and stuff like that and then we're done uh, and then I can offer it to all my clients yes Yes, I can very much so, and that's it for it today. Got to obviously do a, a network backup as well. Yes, hang on, because remember, I back up every week. I back up everything off the network. One big thing on a Friday during the week, I do backups of the of the file system uh, for all the images and the database. And then at the end of the week, I back up everything, including the code. Yes, I do everything. So all the changes are safe. Um, and then I'm going to relax. Got to go to Tesco's. Might pop up to Pottery House because I haven't seen them in a while. Going to have a coffee and say hello. Yes. Take some pictures soon. I need to actually add some pictures to them. And that's it. So that's that's my what's what's on today. Yay! 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 Well done. Uh, oh, and it's time for this. It is. It's time for that. Yay! Fact of the day. What is the fact of the day, Steffi? I'll tell you what the fact of the day is. You can see it on screen. Pretane. The word Britain is derived from pretane, or Britain, probably, meaning painted originally because the Britons had tattoos. Um, yeah, and it was first recorded that we had we had tattoos. We, because I'm British. Um, I think it was Caesar came over. Yeah, when the Romans invaded. I think it was 55 BC. So the Romans invaded in 55 BC. And everybody was covered in woad. Yes. There is some, some query about whether they were tattooed or just painted. But the name pretain, meaning painted originally because Britain had tattoos. Well, they could have just used blue woad. Yes, exactly. So, uh, but tattoos have been in the British psyche for, you know, since then, really. You know, obviously sailors have them and military have them. Uh, I saw a really interesting article on BBC News about military tattoos in the, in, in the British military and what they're all meaning and stuff. Um, but, you know, even back in the 15th, 16th century, people were getting tattoos. They were, I think. I think King George V had a tattoo as well, which was... Ooh, everyone's like, oh, can't have a tattoo. They thought he'd tattooed his face for something, well, for some reason, while he was out in the Pacific on duty. Uh, and it was all over the press. And, oh, no, he's tattooed his face. And he came back and he hadn't. He got tramp stamp or something. I don't know. But, yeah, so tattoos. Britain and tattoos have you know, a long history together. And the word Britain is derived from pretain, meaning painted originally because the Britons had tattoos, as discovered by Julius Caesar. I think it was Julius. It was definitely a Caesar when he came over to the UK to to to, to, to Great Britain to invade, and so the pretains they went, oh hello, and we've got um, our flat caps on and tattoos. Yes, there you go. So that's it. That's the fact of the day. It's really interesting. So everything's about Britain today. So remember, it is Brexit day. You know, if you voted to leave, be nice. If you voted to uh, stay. Don't be too sad. You'll get your opportunity to rejoin. You know, the EU might change. It might end up as a utopia as you think it's going to be. Uh, in which case, petition to rejoin. You never know. You never know. Well, I mean, I don't think it'll be in my lifetime, but I've only probably got about another 25 years or so. Maybe a little bit longer, but we'll see anyway. So that's it. 47 years of history with the EU. And we're going back to finding our own way. Yes, we've snipped nipped the ties but nothing changes for a year so don't panic that much it's not that bad um and then we had two fantastic blog posts one from the potsbury house restaurant blog.potsburyhouse.co.uk with their valentine's day meal remember folks it is booking up it is booking up uh so you need to make a decision and get booked in soon oh excuse me don't know where that came from um but they have got friday and saturday night because last year there was a lot of people disappointed about the fact I couldn't get in there on Friday night. So Saturday night, sir. So, you know, if you're busy working or whatever, then away you go. Yes, away you go. Blog.potsburyhouse.co.uk. And then, on then, if you want to do an anti-Valentine's Day, get yourself down to Bar Bar Black Sheep. www.blacksheepcollective.co.uk. Get yourself down to Bar Bar Black Sheep on Saturday for the snarling. A snarling. snarling. Five pound on the door. Yep. 
get down there, watch that, have some great coffee and snacks, and watch a horror movie. Yes, why not? There you go. And then we talked about what's on today, so all the stuff I'm doing, and then we had the fact of the day, which you can still see on screen. Pretane Britain derives from pretane, meaning painted. Britain's had tattoos. Yes, and we have a long history of tattoos. I got tattoos. There's one. Can you see it on my wrist? Yes. It says Ad Astra. It's actually an ambigram. I've also got a big dragon on my back as well. And yeah, painted lady, definitely. Oh, well, what's the last thing we're going to talk about today? Well, Steffi, we're going to talk about my 30 day free trial. Yes, 30 day free trial. Clicking over here, pushing the button here. Everybody starts working with SLO Media. It gets a 30 day free trial. Yes, it gets you started with us. It sets you up. You get four free blog posts. You don't get the other services, but you get four free blog posts. So you can try us out, see how the workflow works. And then at the end of the 30 day free, day, eh, 30 day free trial, um, if you want to carry on with us, we'll talk about that. If you want to walk away, fine. Tell us why, but you know, no judgment. If you don't like it, you don't like it, do you? So have a look at our 30 day free trial page. Here's everything you get. This is all the information about it. And if you go, yep, yeah, like that, Click on this box in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Claim your 30 day free trial, fill it out, send it over. We'll be in touch, get you started nice and easy. However, you might think, Steffi, I love what you do. I love what SLO Media does. I want to jump in feet first. Well, you get a 50% discount on your first month's fees. Yes, you will. Yes. So check it out 30 day free trial, blogging, social media, email marketing contact management, news searching, boosting, everything you need all in one place, all done for you on a simple and affordable monthly subscription. www.slo.uk.com. Check it out, kids. Check it out. And if you're on Facebook, the show's about to end, so you can't really comment anymore. Like me, love me, ha 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 me. Definitely wow me because it's Friday. No sadness or anger. And if you're on YouTube on Catch Up, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the jingly jangly bell and you find different ways to keep in touch with me. What a week. It's all over. Yay. Yay. We've done it. Five episodes of the, of the SLO show. Not many major cock-ups, but it's done. I'm simply going to say, have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Yes. Have an awesome day. Have a fantastic weekend. And I'll be back on Monday with another episode of Steffi Show. <laughs> Hang on a minute. No, I keep saying the Steffi Show for some reason. I'll be back on Monday with another episode of the SLO Show.